how would you feel about being kicked and thrown to the ground in front of a crowd of hundreds of strangers? We're in the heart of the Incident shopping centre that I showed you on day one of our series of videos. It's a sport with a bit of a following, not only Koreans just coming uh, on a Saturday afternoon for three hours to watch their favourite uh, competitors go one on one, tourists and strangers drop by to watch the different jewels. The way it works is there's a whole variety of teams, uh, up to about ten teams with eight, up to eight competitors in them. and. Two at a time, they face off against each other, their flags are raised and the coach decides which of his eight competitors he's going to put up against the other. And then they do battle, they unleash, they kick, they spar, they self-defend, it goes off. We saw a great battle before between the blue and green team. One of their competitors was a guy from Germany. His name was Tim. He put up a pretty good fight for the blue team, but he was up against a bloke with a lot more height. My opponent was about 30 centimeters taller than me, <laughs> maybe 25. So my coach just said, well, don't lose. So I managed it not to lose. But because one time I did a kind of spectacular kick and they all said whoa. And never fear friends back home, Australia's flag is flying high here in the middle of Incident. There's a man from Cairns by the name of Mark Shear. He's here giving this sport the go for the very first time. He's joined one of the teams. Unfortunately, injury has put him out of competing today, but he'll certainly be cheering on his teammates from the sidelines. Anyone who's never seen Tech Yard, you know, if you see it for the first time, you know, I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll be very uh, interested in it. It's, uh, it's quite fun to watch. It's uh, a little bit different to Taekwondo and Hapkido. And the other reason of club is for learning Korean language. Tech Yard can develop worldwide. Um, if you get the opportunity, search it on the internet. And definitely, if you have the opportunity, come to Korea and check it out. Mark Shi there, and I'm sure we'll be watching how, how he goes in the years to come as he continues to learn this Korean historical martial art. Well, it's time for another battle. I might head on downstairs and watch the proceedings. Hope you enjoy. Shoot! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>